Hello there, and um, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Okay, now um, beautiful weather today, so no sewing video. Uh, I just want to make use of the light, and um, oh, that's helpful. Look at that. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. No, I just dropped the card that I was going to use into the um, palette. So yeah. But that's me all over. What I'm doing is just going to make a couple of cards, really. So I thought, well, I'll film it. And hopefully it, well, hopefully it rains tomorrow. Um, it's due to rain tomorrow, so I can get some sewing done. I just want to make use of this beautiful weather. Now, um, I really like doing these, actually. Um, you know, I know... <sighs> yeah, cards bought from a shop can be ridiculously expensive, can't they? Um... So, um, yeah, I'm just going to paint a card, a birthday card. Now, um, she's quite fond of um, sea life and everything else like that, so she, she'll, she'll quite like the idea of having a jellyfish card. I know, not everyone would, but these ones don't sting, apparently. Whew, amazing what you find out, isn't it? But um, they're very pretty, very, very pretty. All right, I've got no idea what the sound is going to be like on this because I can't really face the camera. Um, well, I can hang upside down, of course, but, yeah, that's what's happening. You're hanging upside down. But, um, mm. So, yeah, I'm just painting the background. I'm doing it nice and dark so that, that we can do some lots of lovely colour on the, on the actual jellyfish. And I don't want it to look like I am... Yeah, I'm drawing the background. I'm not drawing around the jellyfish. It's just going to be a bit of a waste of paint if I paint black over white and then paint something white. So, yeah, not going to do that. That's a bad thing. It'll take ages to dry as well. It'll be bad. All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cleaning my brush on the palette. I've put it in some fresh water. Just tap water. There's no you know chemicals and I'm picking up some white there is some blue in there as well um, it's one of those things white doesn't really paint that well so if I can just make use of the dirty brush technique and then I can get a bit of shadowing in the center here so it makes more of a ball than it would do if it was just a white blob so there we go yes with luck we can have a bit of darkness in the centre and that will make the centre pop out. Now one of the problems that I've got with painting with acrylics on the camera is that it won't really show uh, until it's dry and um, it won't really be dry till tomorrow. So how long have you got? Uh, are you okay with that? You know? So uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to do some white. It's got a kind of rim around it, and then obviously it's got the, the feathery bits. So yeah, start off with white, um, and then I'm going to, with a smaller brush, put some highlight in there with funky coloured paint. I've been lucky enough to buy some iridescent paint, and um, I was very excited when I saw it at the shop. I'm like a little child, so... I've bought some iridescent paint and I've got some fluorescent paint as well so yeah it's all good fun so yeah all right all I've done with a dirty brush is do a dark background and a white in front now this is the iridescent paint <sighs> yeah it's cheap enough I've got some on my palette so I'll make use of that and I'm gonna find a slightly smaller brush and this is just to do a bit of definition and a bit of highlight so and I'm going to squiggle that in there so that we've got the talismans they do have another type of uh, tentacle tentacle the tentacles the word I'm looking for so I'll do those I don't think they are in luminous pink but the problem is that if everything is in grey then uh, it's not going to be very clear and it is supposed to be fun so yes if you haven't painted since you were a child, I think you would surprise yourself by trying it now. And, um, you know, as a child, you painted like a child. As an adult, you'll find that you paint like an adult. So, give it a go, you know. I, I'm quite adamant about this. Um, that, you know, people just give up and it's kind of like a bad thing. 
Now what they've got is um, these type of jellyfish and I've got no idea what they're called. All I know is they released like thousands of them in the Suez Canal. Uh, they wash up on the beach, uh, half of them are dead and they don't sting. So people say they're blue. Uh, I would say they were more purple but that's just me. So they have a sort of blobby pattern in the middle and then that spans out either as big spots or stripes. And um, we started with stripes, so we're going to keep on going with stripes. And um, yeah. All right, I'm going to put a couple of lines just to highlight there. And it is, it is just, yeah, just do try. Yeah. Yeah, these type of videos are quite popular on YouTube. And I think it's the piece of it. And um, so perhaps I should do them and then not play uh, and just play music for you because um, <laughs> I've got no idea if I, you can even hear me. All right, so I've got the iridescent paint. This one's a bit more purple and oh, I'm going to find a sort of relative empty bit in there. And um, if you can see, it's just got a little bit of a sheen to it and it will dry with that sort of sheen. Uh, at the minute the paint looks wet so it's shiny it won't dry so shiny all right now this really does in my opinion need some more white in it so that's what I'm going to do next I'm just going to highlight the edges with white I can even make the edges pop out a bit with white by darkening the outside the C bit so yes Obviously, you can go, the worst thing I do is I waste a lot of paint, but um, I think that was just nerves. I squirted out a lot more than I needed to. So, But I can leave this paint on this palette for a good couple of days and it will be fine. All right. Now, also, because it's an organic shape, I kind of need a much smoother line so I'm going to put quite a lot of paint on my brush so that I can blob the paint and then the paint will work for me. Alright and then I'm going to smooth the inside edges so that it doesn't look like I've just done a really fat line. There we go. Now we did say that we were going to do some pink tassely bits. What I'm kind of going to do is some white ones that sort of fade in the distance. Um, this is because I want to make it quite big. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm doing some straight ones. And um, if the paint doesn't catch the base of the card, then I'm not going to worry about it. Um, that's what it will visually look like if you, uh, if you saw it. So, yeah, just a tiny bit of pink. I managed to get a small bit of pink that time. and um, But I really only need just a couple of highlights. And um, yeah, so when I finish this, I'm going to switch the camera off and then leave it to dry for a bit. And then, um, yeah, hopefully you'll like it and give it a go, really, because that's all I do these videos for. I want you to try new things. Um, you know, obviously I meet people in my day-to-day -day life and I think, yeah... Okay, life is hard, but you don't know unless you try. You know, try and find a hobby, try and have some fun. And, um, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for watching. I should be back in a little while. Thank you. <laughs> so, welcome back. Okay, well, the card's now dry, so, um, but I don't think it looks very good on camera. Uh, it looks okay in real life. It's just one of those things. And um, so what I'm going to do is I, because I can, I'm going to make more white tentacles in the distance. Now this will give the impression that the tentacles are actually longer than I originally drawed. And that uh, the ones at the front, obviously you could see more. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Makes perfect sense. And... Um, yeah, I'm going to do a bit to the top as well. I'm going to put more pink in. Just a couple of dots to give the impression that there's lines there. Okay, 
smidge that in. Now, um, yeah, acrylic, so obviously I can mix it on the paper, which is brilliant for me. And um, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to fold that over, but I'm going to leave it open because, yeah, obviously I don't want to... Um, do a smudge it um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of black on the, the background and obviously there's some still pink and blue highlighted on the paintbrush so I'm mixing as I go there we go, I'll move it down a bit and then I'm just going to do a little one on the inside uh, and then I can do the tentacles longer so I'm going to clean my brush again in French water fresh water and I'm going to clean it on the palette so, yeah, I turn it sideways, just easier for me. Um, the reason I'm turning it sideways is just so I don't smudge anything. Um, one of the things, I, I know, <laughs> I've been gardening today, so my hands are filthy anyway, but um, they've got paint on, so I don't want to smudge the actual card. And that's all it is, it's a birthday card. Um, but we're going with the thought that counts. So all I'm doing is concentrating on the top. I'm not worried about the bottom being a bit musky. And obviously I need the paint to run. So I've got some shading in the center. So it looks domey. Because that's what they are. They're fluffy balls. Fluffy balls. And then lots and lots of long tentacles. Now as the paint goes down, the paint gets greyer. Um, just because the brush is dirty but um, that's good that's good that's good that's good it means that you can see it if I was painting white tentacles on a white card well that would be a fun video wouldn't it so yeah again I'm just dipped it in the iridescent purple Ooh, very excited very excited about that and there we go going over the white lines but what we're doing is just giving the impression of a jellyfish and um, your mind makes up the rest doesn't it although it might not come you might not see this video <laughs> all right because that's just purple and black and gray I'm gonna highlight again with pink they don't have pink on them but the light would reflect the jelly in any color that you any color that's in the sky so that's good all right, I'm going to leave that to dry again and then I'm going to write happy birthday in it. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please like and subscribe.